everyone, welcome back. It's Molly AK, Swedish Whiskey Girl. And today, we're here with a whiskey that is Royal Salute 21. <laughs> this is a blended grain. I don't know that much about it, which is why I think it's quite an interesting one. This is another one that I got to kindly borrow from my friend Nicola. And yeah, I've tried to look information up online but it doesn't exist on their website as far as I can see but it has a back label which I believe is in Japanese and so it might be for the Japanese market uh, or another market that I use as another kind of alphabet that I don't recognize um, and use the signs instead but yeah since it's a blended grain I thought it would be interesting to try it because you don't I don't know I haven't seen that many blended grains that are this old. So of course the 21 means it's at least 21 years old. It's from the brand Royal Salute, which I was lucky enough to go on a press trip with recently. And they were founded as kind of a um, monarchical <laughs> um, homage, I guess, um, for they have, for example, bottled whiskey for like honouring kings and queens and Queen Elizabeth and it's named after the the Royal Salute, the guns. Um, let's do that again. So Royal Salute is a brand that I believe was founded in 1953 um, as kind of a, what did I say, like a monarchical tribute but like a... Um, royalty tributes uh, after Queen Elizabeth ascended the throne and they used whiskey from Strath Isla to make kind of a, a whiskey for this occasion uh, which was named the Royal Salute after the 21 gun salute. So that's what this is. It's bottled at 40%. I've seen some of these go on auction for like around £75. Um, usually when you get older grain whiskies they're a little bit less expensive as single malts. Um, and a blended grain means that it's different single malts, nope, different single grains, <laughs> different single grains that are blended together. And a single grain is, of course, a whiskey that is either distilled in a continuous still rather than a pot still, or it can also contain different types of malts, like wheat or corn or rye here in Scotland. Um, so yeah, I, I really like grain whiskies blended grains as well because why not um so yeah we're gonna have a little look on it and see what we think i'll start by having a look on the nose mm, straight away is that kind of <laughs> sweet almost vanilla ice cream yeah that kind of nice green nose that i really like that is kind of a um, yeah, like a, if you have like the Swedish punch, a little bit like that, like vanilla ice cream, quite desserty. And also quite lush. Um, sitting at 40 doesn't really ha have any strong kind of spicy alcohol vibes. But quite clean, quite fresh, quite sweet. So let's have a taste. Slender. Mmm. Sweet on the palate as well. Definitely that kind of green character to the ice cream. I'm looking for a grassiness because usually with these kind of whiskies, I feel like you often get a grassiness. But I wouldn't say it's that grassy. <clears throat> Hmm, a little bit floral, a little bit woody. Yeah, almost like towards being very creamy chocolatey in a way. But yeah, I wouldn't say it's very grassy. Maybe that age has just giving it a bit more of a wood character. But this is like green whiskey when it's 
getting good. <laughs> I really like this. If you have a sweet tooth, oh, this is done. <laughs> um, if you have a sweet tooth, then green whiskey might be something for you, uh, especially if you like vanilla ice cream as well, a little bit of a boozy vanilla ice cream. I mean, I, I just love that green whiskey. <laughs> Oh, and the, the finish is really lovely. It almost feels like roasted... Like roasted chocolate with like... Oh, definitely some sort of like chocolate dessert. Hmm. Lovely finish though. Um, warming... Yeah, I'm a fan. <laughs> I would say I'm getting more on the palette from the nose at the moment, actually. Yeah, I mean, these are, for me, who have a bit of a sweet tooth when it comes to whiskey, these are so easy to like. Unfortunately, I can't say much more about it because I don't know what whiskey's been used, um, what market it's for, um, kind of anything really. <laughs> but if you know, please let me know in the comments below. And let me know if you've tried any blended grain whiskeys that you think I should try, or single grains, of course, as well. But I hope you've enjoyed this little short, sweet review, and I hope you will stay around and watch the next one as well. But I hope you're all having a lovely day. Sanjava, Skoda.